peace. This your host, Selah Shalom, and this is the Cosmon teachings and the words of Jehovah and his angel ambassadors from the Cosmon Bible of Waspi. And the topic of discussion today is called The False Story of Creation by Dias. And this is a very important documentary because for the fact that the creation story Dias gives is the same we have in the King James Bible today, starting with Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to chapter 9. As I stated before, the Hebrews incorporated these stories of creation long after receiving the Torah. And these stories that the Hebrews incorporated in the Torah stems from Kemet and Sumer. In Kemet, you have the Kemetian stories of creation with Geb, Net, Osiris, Horus, and Seth. And in Sumer, you have the Sumerian stories of creation with the seven tablets of creation compared to the seven days of creation we have in the Bible. Along with the stories of the gods or the Elohims or the Anunnakis, you have Enki, Enlil, Anu, with the creation of man. This is where you get the gods or let us create man in the Genesis account. And then you have the story of Noah and the flood, which stems from the Epic of Gilgamesh, which gives the same account before Torah was given to Moses, to Moshe. All these stories of creation stem from Dias and his administration. At the same time period, these accounts were recorded in stone and papyrus, in Kemet, Sumer, Canaan, and Syria being the 23rd arc cycle after the creation of man, between 3953 BC to 1553 BC, the length of the 23rd arc cycle. And the time period that Dias revealed these stories of creation is around 3500 BC during the pre-dynastic times of Kemet and Sumer, where these stories can be traced back to. Now we're going to move into how these stories came about by the administration of the false lord god Anuhasaj, now styled Dias. Book of Wars against Jehovah, chapter 23, verse 14 through 20, it states, now it came to pass in course of time that in consequence of the great abundance of angel manifestations, mortals sought by this means to obtain knowledge of heaven and earth, and especially regarding to the end of man, verse 15. And the Osirian hosts, being the only angels engaged in the matter of establishing Dias, answered them, saying, The life and the end of man are to glorify God, who is Lord of heaven and earth. Verse 16. And the mortals pressed the matter further, asking, Who is God? What are the worlds? Whence came all things? How were the creations created? Verse 17. For in answer to these questions, Osiris sent message to the Lord God in Horeb, whereupon Dias called the council of his God and lords to meet in Horeb to solve the matter, that a uniform answer might be given unto all the divisions of the earth. So here it shows how Dias is about to design a doctrine to give to mortals regarding the knowledge of heaven and earth, the end of man, who is God, what are the worlds, and whence came all things. And he also stated that this doctrine will be given to all the divisions of the land. Verse 18. In the meantime, and before the council assembled, the self, in parentheses, Satan, of Dias, spoke to him, saying, If thou admit a creator except thyself, thou art undone. For is this not the point whereon hang the power and dominion of Jehovah? The Lord God inquired of Satan, saying, Why speaketh though not of this before? Behold, the great spirit signifies everywhere, but I am only as a man, small compared to the size of the world. Verse 19. Satan said, It matters not, though shall say thou were the creator of heaven and earth. Verse 20. And Dias said, but this is not truth. When thou persuaded me to assume dominion of earth, thou says, Be thou truth in all things. How then shall I say I created the heavens and the earth? So here Dias is confronted with the matter where he realized that Satan deceived him, and now Dias must play the role of the creator in which he knows he is not. And when it refers to Satan, it is referring to self, the self within, that voice that leads mortal astray. And in the Hebrew, Satan means to resist or one who resists truth. Satan said, When Osiris hath come before thee, say thou to him, Who has thou found amongst mortals to be the greatest and wisest best? Su is. Su is is the ability to hear and see angels. And when he telleth thee, say thou to him, Osiris, my son, him thou says is the greatest Su is, shall thou inspire in person, and thou shalt cause him to write answers to the questions of mortals that the learned and the ignorant alike may know me in my kingdoms. Behold, before my time both heaven and earth were void as to a godhead, except to the servants of Jehovah. And because they were void in this respect, thou shalt persuade thy seer to know I created them from voidance unto my own glory. So here Satan gives Dias a blueprint as to how 
to begin his false story of creation, which in return Dias tells Osiris to find the highest person in Suez, which is a person who is able to hear and see angels, similar to a medium. And that person will be used to write the words of Dias in due time. Now we're going to go into the false story of creation. Book of Wars against Jehovah, chapter 26, verse 9 through 21, it states, Verse 9, I now declare the feast ended. Let the tables be removed. Behold, I will speak from the throne in private before my five gods only, except my own marshals. But unto all others I declare time of recreation and sport to be called again to duty when I have finished with my gods, of which my marshals will inform the trumpeters who shall sound the call. Verse 10. Speedily now the attendants took away the tables, and the host all withdrew, except the gods and Dias and his marshals. Whereupon Dias ascended the throne, and then spoke, saying, So here it is Dias and his five lords, and it will be the five lords who will be interpreting his words. And the main interpreters are going to be Osiris, Sudga, and Tien. Verse 11. I, the Lord your God, who am Dias of heaven and earth, declare unto you my gods and earth rulers, in my own name and with love abounding, verse 12, to declare my doctrine and creation before you, that all the earth may be subdued alike unto me and mine forever, verse 13, to suppress not my own age in my doctrine, nor to explain my exomes, but to suppress the understanding of mortals sufficiently unto their knowledge of earthly things, and so appease their curiosity as to the questions they put to ye, my gods. Verse 14, Neither will I bind myself as Ahura did, for I will not explain who I am, except that man is in my own likeness, nor when the beginning of things was. So here you can see how Dias is strategizing on how he will deceive mortals through his doctrine. Verse 15, This heaven I created, and ye also bear witness that I have established the earth in me through your valorous deeds. Verse 16, I who am your God look not to matters of a day or a year. My times are as one time, for from this time forth forever this heaven and earth are mine, time without end. Verse 17, In which ye behold days and years, and the generations of men on the earth pass rapidly. Who then shall think seriously of the inhabitants that now are yours and mine? Verse 18, Behold, the earth is fruitful, a thousand years are but as one day, and there shall spring up out of the earth thousands of millions of souls newborn. For them are my answer shaped more than for such as now are. So Dias is briefing his strategy with his lords about his creation story, which will play a big part in the history of mortals. Now here's the seven day creation story by Dias, beginning with the first day of creation, verse 19. In the beginning I created this heaven and the earth, in parentheses, unto my own name and glory. For they were void and without order, darkness was upon them, whereupon I moved upon them, saying, Let there be light, and there was light. And I drew a line between darkness and light, in parentheses, for they had worshipped the void instead of me. Verse 20, Wherefore I declare this the morning and evening of the first day, and I have divided those that were void and established my famine between them, even as land between water and water. Verse 21. And my famine is heaven, and I have made it to be over such as were void like water. Book of Wars against Jehovah, chapter 27, verse 1 through 16. Verse 1. Osiris, being commanded of God to speak, said, Give us one day, O Dias, that we may digest this matter. So here Dias speaks the words of the first day of his creation story, and Osiris is asked for one day to digest the matter. And you can see this is how the Torah and the King James Bible begins with Genesis 1 and 1, which in the Hebrew is, Barashit bara Elohim et hashamaim waha'aretz, which is interpreted in the beginning, filled or fattened the gods, the skies, and the land. And in the King James Bible it states, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and these stem from the very words of Dias. Verse 2, Thereupon the Lord God gave them one day, and on the next day, when they were assembled, the gods ratified every word Dias had spoken, and it was called the morning and evening of the second day. 
So the evening of the second day, the five gods ratified the words of Dais, meaning that they approved it. Verse 3.